If the switch fabric is not fast enough to handle the traffic coming at the input ports, we need buffers at the input ports to queue the incoming packets before they are switched. Queuing delay can happen due to increase in the size of this queue at the input port. Loss can also happen due to buffer overflow. An important phenomenon that can happen at input queued switches is head of line blocking. Head of line blocking means that the first packet in the line in the input port queue is blocking other packets in the queue because it has to wait for switching to the target output port to become available. For example, the red packets in the figure both should go to the first output port. They are in two different input ports, but one of them has to wait. Let's say the bottom red packet in the third input port will wait, and the packet in the first input port will be switched to the output port at the first step. This wait for the packet on the third input port will cause a blocking for the green packet that is in the same input port queue. The green packet wants to go to another output port, which is available and could be switched, but has to wait because a packet in front of it is waiting for switching. What happens at the output ports? Queuing can also happen in the output port buffer before transmitting the packet on the outgoing link, going through link layer and physical layer line termination modules. How to send out the packets from the output queue on the output line is decided by the scheduling discipline at the output port. Queuing at the output port happens when datagrams arrive from fabric faster than the transmission rate. That is, when the switching fabric is faster than the port line rate. This will also make it possible, from the output port perspective, to switch packets to the same output port. For example, if as shown in the figure, at time t, two red packets are moved from different input ports to the same output port, the first one, packets transferred to the output port could be queued at the first output port. Then, the second packet has to wait for another step before packet 1 can go out of the output port and make the line available for it. Also, opening up a space for newly switched packets. Datagrams in the output port queues can experience delay and can also be dropped at the output port queues. The decisions to drop packets are made by active queue management policies. The explicit congestion notification marking that we previously discussed can also happen at the router output port queues. How to send out the packets from the output port queue on the output line is decided by the scheduling discipline at the output port.